Hello everyone, good afternoon. So for today's session, we will be discussing more examples related to our topics last session. Specifically, we will be talking about simple integration and integration of simple trigonometric functions. So uh, as an example, we have here integral of 5 over square root of x minus 3x squared plus 2 over x to the 4th dx. So first, since uh, this equation involves fractions, so what we need to do is um, change the exponents of the denominator to, uh, to its uh, inverse sign so that we can have this line with the numerator. So first, we'll have it like this. 5. Since square root of x is equal to 1 half, and then since we are moving this denominator to numerator, so its exponent will become negative 1 half. Minus 3 and 2 will become negative 2 plus 2 x to the negative 4 dx. Okay, so since this involves many three terms so we can um we can um integ integrate them separately so we have integral of 5x raised to negative one half dx minus let's move the constant outside the integration symbol so we have five square uh, integral of x raised to negative one half three integral of x raised to negative two dx plus 2 integral of x raised to negative 4 dx. So we'll proceed now with the integral process um, using the simple power formula we have here 5. And then x negative 1 half plus 1 that is positive 1 half. So we have here 1 half all over 1 half minus the power formula of this one copying the constant. So negative 2 plus 1 that is negative 1 all over negative 1 plus 2 power formula of negative 4 plus 1 that is negative 3 all over negative 3 plus c do not forget the plus c uh, simplifying our answer we have the reciprocal of 1 half times 5 that is 10 x raised to 1 half and then negative divided by negative that is positive 3x raised to negative 1 and then positive divided by negative so we have negative 2x raised to negative 3 plus c and then okay since the the uh, exponent here is 1 half we can also uh, transform this one into radical so this will become 10 square root of x and then since this one it has a power of negative so it, meaning to say we can also put that in the denominator so we have 3 over x minus the same with this one it has a power of negative so we can say that 2 over x cubed plus c so either of your answer is it this one or this one that's fine but for me this is the most correct answer another example we have here integral of 1 minus 2x squared dx all over x so to solve this kind of equation um, we need to simplify first or expand first the numerator and then uh, let's see if we can cancel some um, terms after so again uh, expanding the numerator we have um, 1 minus 2 times 1 times negative 2x, that's 4x. Then negative 2x squared, that is positive 4x squared. Then we have the dx all over the numerator. Afterwards, we need to, to divide the numerator with our denominator. So we have um, 1 dx that is 1 over x minus 
this term, we have 4x dx all over x plus integral of 4x squared dx all over x. Afterwards, if we, we if we, there's a term that we can cancel, then we'll cancel like this one. Okay, and also this one. Okay. Um, after we cancel some terms, now we can proceed with um, the integral process. Now, the integral of dx over x, as we've discussed last session, this is equivalent to ln x. Then this one, integral of 4 dx, that is minus 4x. Then this one, we have integral of 4x dx, that is 4x squared all over 2. Then do not forget the plus c. Then simplifying this one, since we can still simplify this, then we have ln x minus 4x 4 divided by 2 that is 2x squared plus c so we have this as our final answer so for our third example we have integral of x squared minus x all over x plus 1 as you can notice the denominator is uh, is composed of more than one term already uh, Take note that you cannot um, separate the denominator, so that's why we need to apply uh, the knowledge that we have learned from our math plus subject here. Meaning to say, we need to divide these polynomials by long division. So by long division, we have here x squared minus x. Uh, I'll just put it down so that there's room for an answer. So we have x squared minus x divided by our divisor so we have x plus 1 now x uh, x squared divided by x that is x x times x we have x squared x times 1 we have positive x then subtract this one so what we have uh, here is negative x minus positive x that is negative 2x then afterwards um, negative 2x divided by x so we have negative 2 basically the technique here is uh, what is the missing part of here uh, with negative 2x and x is negative 2 right What's the difference among them? So you need to put negative 2 here. And then negative 2 times x, that is negative 2x. Negative 2 times positive 1, that is negative 2. So subtracting this one, we have a negative 2. Uh, 0 minus negative 2, that's rather positive 2. So we'll, uh, we'll remove the minus sign here. So, this will be our remainder. Now, since this is the remainder, we need to add this remainder here in our answer. Meaning to say, the answer is plus 2 all over the divisor, which is x plus 1. So, that is x plus 1. So, now, this is the equivalent equation of this one. So, uh, to integrate later, we can use this um, derived uh, equation rather than this. Okay, so from the, the answer that we got from uh, the division of the polynomials earlier, so we have this one. We need to say x squared minus x all over x plus 1 is also equal to this equation. So now we can already simply uh, integrate this one. Uh, we, uh, we need to integrate this separately. So we have here um, integral of x dx minus integral of 2 dx plus 2 is constant. So we can put it outside over dx over x plus 1. Then let's proceed with the 
um, integral or the process of integration. So we have here uh, by power formula x dx is equivalent to x squared over 2 minus this one which is 2 copy the constant then derive or integrate dx so we have the x then this one copy the 2 then for this one we can set this one as our u and then uh, derive this u so u is equal to x plus 1 and then the derivative of our u is equal to dx so meaning to say uh, it is also dx here so meaning to say this is also equivalent to uh, du over u as you can see here this is our du which is the same as here then our u is this one so meaning to say x squared over 2 minus 2x plus 2 and then integral of du over u that is l and u but u is not yet our answer here we need to uh, replace it with the original value which is x plus 1 so that gives us um, so we need to replace our u by uh, the original value which is x over 2 minus 2x plus 2 ln and the u earlier discussed was x plus 1 so plus c so meaning to say this is now our final answer